Hello and welcome to Hot and Math. We're going to continue on with actually our third installment in finding minimums and maximums. Today we're going to talk about cubic function word problems. <clears throat> All right, uh, so we want to figure out how to maximize <clears throat> typically volume with a cubic function. And so we're going to take a couple of examples and uh, we're going to figure out how to estimate at least uh, some way to maximize volume. Right, so and we're going to use cubic functions to do that. So here's the example. A manufacturer cuts squares from corners of an 8 centimeter by 14 centimeter piece of sheet metal and then folds the metal to make an open top box. Find the value of the width of the corner that maximizes the volume. Right, so the first thing we need to do is draw a picture and determine what we need to prove. Uh, so I'm going to draw the picture for you. Uh, so here's my sheet metal 18 by 4. And so I'm going to uh, take these corners, these edges, and I'm going to cut out a piece so that I can uh, turn this uh, edge up and fold this edge in and this edge in and this edge in to create an open top box. All right, so we're going to draw a picture and determine what we need to prove. All right, well, we want to identify the length, the width, and the height because the volume, the formula for a volume, is length times width times height. So let's figure out length times width times height. So the length is going to be 14 minus 2x. The height is going to be 8 minus 2x. And then, I'm sorry, the width is going to be 8 minus 2x. And the height is going to be x. So here we have our polynomial. It's a cubic function in order to figure out volume. And we want to estimate where uh, the value of x produces the greatest volume. So we're going to take this polynomial function, we're going to graph it, and we're going to use the graph to estimate estimate where the maximum uh, value would be for what value of x. All right, so we're going to graph the polynomial, and we're going to find the zeros, 0, 4, and 7, pretty easy to do from here. And we're going to plot those on uh, our graph. So this is going to be 0, 0, 0. All right, uh, and then we're going to test the intervals. So we're going to interval test. I'm going to test here, all uh, right, and then here and here, and here, and I end up with <clears throat> negative, positive, negative, negative, or negative, positive, negative, positive. All right, so I'm going to graph the general behavior of the function. I didn't have any double roots or triple roots, so I'm going to graph the function here. I know that x cannot be less than 0, uh, and x can't be uh, greater than 4, because when that happens, this value here is going to become negative. So, uh, I know that the function or possible values of x are between 0 and 4. And now I'm going to just going to estimate. Now we could use calculus or we can use a graphing calculator to figure out what the local maximum is here. But in this case, we're just going to estimate by taking the midpoint between these two points, and we're going to estimate that value as x is equal to 2. Ends up not being exactly the value, uh, but it's close enough. So x is equal to 2 is going to maximize our volume, and then we're going to find out what that uh, volume is. Uh, so 80 uh, cubic inches, Let's say 80 cubic inches here. All right, so uh, that's how we're going to estimate what the maximum volume is based on what we should uh, cut out uh, as a value for x. All right, so let's move on to the second problem. A 10 centimeter by 20 centimeter piece of sheet metal is cut and folded, is integrated to make a box with a top. So in the prior example, we had no, uh, no top for a box. Right, and now we are going to have uh, a box that has a top. So we want to figure out the value of x that maximizes the volume. Again, we know that uh, length times width times height is equal to the volume. Uh, so we're going to take the first piece of this. So the length here is going to end up being just one side of the box. And because we're folding it over, it ends up being uh, 10 minus x. Right, so it's going to be half of 20 uh, minus 2x. So 10 minus x is our length. Our width here is going to be 10 minus 2x, right? and then our height is going to be x. So now we have our polynomial. We're going to go through the same process. Uh, we're going to uh, identify the zeros. So the zeros are going to be x is equal to 10, uh, 5, and 0. We're going to plot the zeros. We're going to do some interval testing uh, in these areas. <clears throat> we're going to see that the uh, function looks something like this. Uh, we know that the uh, values of x have to be uh, in between 0 and 5 because when they are less than 
zero, uh, we end up with uh, values for uh, volume which are negative. Uh, we're in, the, in this section here, we end up with values of x or for the volume that are also going to be uh, negative, at least for a length or a width. Okay, uh, so uh, we're going to find the vertex of local. Here is going to be our local maximum. Uh, and then we're going to estimate the local maximum is halfway between 0 and 5. That's 2.5. So 2.5 centimeters uh, for the value of x, which produces a cubic uh, volume or result of 93.75. And again, that's an estimate. All right, that's it for this edition of Otten Math. Thanks very much. Come back and join us next time when we start graphing uh, uh, polynomials and then also writing equations of polynomials in the next edition of Otten Math.